In this video, I'm going to talk about um, the very basic idea behind reinforcement learning. And uh, I'll explain this idea using uh, a stick figure animation uh, created by Akam Prince. I have downloaded this uh, animation from YouTube. But it, it explains the very basic and fundamental um, uh, elements of reinforcement learning. So consider, for example, uh, this particular uh, character is an agent and it appears to some environment, um, knows nothing to do. Um, all it knows is there is something that, it, that, that this agent really requires, maybe food or something. And further assume that the agent know, knows how to walk or how to, um, how to climb on stair and stuff like so. So for example, if the agent just moves, um, knows nothing to do, where to move, uh, let's say moves on and on and on maybe uh, maybe at some step the agent thinks that uh, at some step the agent may think that um, it's it's finding nothing uh, out of walking here and there and maybe maybe starving or maybe uh, dehydrating findings or trying to find some water or food maybe but um, staying at this particular position taking no action may be further harmful, so maybe the agent decides to take some action, maybe moving this way uh, uh, upstairs, maybe there may be some food or there may be, uh, I mean something. Um, the whole idea here is the, the agent doesn't, doesn't know the environment. It first appears in this environment, maybe this is a new world for, or maybe the first world for this agent, this character, and the character has a built-in uh, built-in uh, functionality that the, the correct the, this character or agent requires food or or water or, or I, I mean something to survive and, and the, this character or agent basically is searching for that and it has some capability to take some actions for example staying where the uh, character is moving uh, right moving left jumping up or jumping down and stuff like so these are kind of actions in this particular environment the agent takes, uh, but the agent doesn't know which action actually will uh, lead towards the goal because the goal is not very clear in, in the real, uh, in the near future. Further, the uh, agent is also observing might be that uh, taking a lot of actions like uh, moving right or uh, climbing on stairs actually increases the starvation level or uh, the dehydration level and stuff like so. Uh, but but that's the learning phase. Uh, this is the new environment and uh, the agent is moving in that. So let's continue and see where the agent goes. So let's see. The agent now finds itself in a really new environment, but still is starving and trying to find out some food or something that really, um, that really pleases the uh, agent. So let's see where the agent moves. This is again, uh, a really new thing, uh, maybe seen the very first time, and the agent is uh, walking the way it can walk and falls down, uh, which means uh, if next time such a situation is achieved, uh, such a situation is arrived, if such a situation arrived, the agent have to perform differently. So, but now, uh, next time, the agent has an experience. So it walks with respect to the experience and uh, keep on walking, maybe these are the actions, and finally find out some food. Um, yeah, so reinforcement learning basically is, uh, you have some environment, um, the environment is completely uncertain. In most of the cases, it is completely uncertain. Um, you do not know where to move. There is maybe a goal or maybe a set of goals to achieve. Um, when you perform certain actions, based on your actions, you may receive immediate response or reward. For example, taking an action like uh, climbing the stairs, the immediate reward is tiredness. You you get tired maybe, or you lose your energy. If, if there is a ro robot, uh, the robot loses its energy or the charging levels maybe, that's the immediate reward. Um, maybe, uh, maybe going downstairs uh, is more pleasing, but then based on the immediate rewards, uh, we do not know, the agent doesn't know 
whether the immediate rewards or the actions they will lead to the ultimate goal or not. What happens is the agent actually actually uh, wander around this environment, do a lot of uh, complete a lot of tasks repeatedly, and eventually gather the experience by this trial and error, and um, try to learn that next time what are the best best actions or sequence of actions to choose. So all this reinforcement learning is basically grounded on this very fundamental fact that the environment is uncertain and the agent has to achieve a particular goal. The goal is there, but a sequence of actions that leads to goal to the goal are, are not clear. At, at the very action level, when the agent is performing an action, nobody is supervising the agent that this action is best or not. And in reality, there are a huge number of actions and the action spaces are really large and the agent really doesn't know which action will lead to the goal um, other than by experiencing a lot of actions repeatedly and finding out the best strategy or policy to achieve the goal. Um, and, and a further issue is uh, once you achieve a goal, the next time you may find the environment slightly changed because uh, the environment may change over time. So that brings uh, a new um, new parameter to the learning that the environment itself is changing next time. So maybe uh, for the very first time you take a sequence of actions and you move uh, at a particular goal, but next time the same sequence of actions may be bad because the environment may slightly have changed uh, with time, uh, which we call sometimes the non-stationary task or something like so. So this is complete, uh, this is very complete the learning paradigm of almost any agent, any most, I, I mean animals and anything, this is the most, uh, I mean the common model that is adapted for learning. Uh, you, any animal or any agent appears in an environment, knows nothing to do, um, having no supervision, takes some actions, receives some rewards, based on the rewards, um, classifies the actions to be good or bad, um, take further actions because after each action, find the agent finds itself in a new state, new situation, takes the actions, take the actions. A lot of sequence of actions may lead to a particular goal. Maybe in the course of uh, sequential actions, maybe certain actions are bad, but they lead to the goal very, uh, very quickly. And uh, after leading to the goal, those bad actions may be, turns, may be regarded as good actions and stuff like so. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's the basic, um, um, basic. For example, the maybe you can call this a definition of reinforcement learning, maybe a trial and error definition of reinforcement learning, where the agent has no knowledge in most of the cases, no knowledge of the environment. Um, the agent is agent has to perform certain actions in certain states. Um, based on the action, the state changes, a reward received, but whether the action was good or bad is not predictable at the local time at the time of the action until you receive until you reach the goal the sequence of actions the, all the actions in the sequence they cannot be classified as the good or bad actions and stuff like so so yeah in the next video i will um, give you another uh, motivational video or uh, the video that actually will give you more um, uh, will give you more understanding of reinforcement learning and what can be achieved uh, using a hide and seek uh, agents from OpenAI. So hope to see you in the next video with hide and seek agents by OpenAI. Mm -hmm.